So good morning everyone. I'm back with some new video YouTube tricks. So today we are going to see the formula a plus the whole square a square plus 2a plus b square. Have you ever wondered have you got this formula? Yes or no? If yes, so well and good. If no, so focus it. So today I will be going to prove this formula by using some geometrical shapes and some geometrical concept. Okay, have you? Consider a line. Consider a line. I will take a point on this line. Anywhere. For example, here. So now, consider this length from here to here as A. And this length from here to here as B. So can I say that distance from here to here, the length from here to here, it will be equals to A plus B. Yes or no? Where A and B is known as constant. Yes or no? A and B. So from here to here, the distance, the length will be A plus B. A plus B. Okay? So now, we will what? Square. A plus B the whole square. Square. So now we will draw the square. Okay? So now, focus it. I will draw a line from here. Okay, one line from here. Now, attention. For this line, this section was A and this section was B. So for this line, so this will be A and this will be B. Common sense. For this line, this will be A and this will be B. For this line, this will be A and this will be B. Yes, or no? that is common sense. Now, so you can see there are four boxes. One, two, three and four. Can I say the first box it is in the form of square? Why? Because the adjacent side is same. Can I say the fourth box again it is form of square because the adjacent side is same. But the second and third it is not in the form of square because the adjacent side are different. So as we know that if the adjacent side are different, it is not a square. It is a rectangle. You can say it is in the form of a rectangle. The second and the fourth box it is in the form of a rectangle because the adjacent side are different. Okay, so now pay attention. So focus on this first box. This first box and the side A. So what will be the area of this first box? Area of this square? Because it is in the form of square. So can the area of square is side square. Side square. So what is the side here? A. So side square means A square. Yes sir. This second box it is in the form of rectangle. So what will be the area of rectangle? So area of rectangle is length into breadth. So length and breadth. Can I say length and breadth are A and B? So length into breadth will be AB. Focus on the third box. Can I say the third box? Again, it is in the form of a rectangle. So what will be the area of this third box? So area of this section will be length into breadth. Again, length and breadth is A and B. So can I say it is AB? Focus on the fourth box. The fourth box it is in the form of Square. I am the side. Now is B. So area of square can I say it is side square. So now the side is B. So can I say it is B square. Now the final step. Now find the area of this complete box. So can I say the area of this complete box is in the form of square? So area of this complete box that means area of this complete square will be equals to area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3 plus area 4. Add the four boxes. So let's see what we will get. The first one that is a square. So what is the second one? That is a b. What is the third box answer? That is a b. What is the fourth one? That is b square. Yes or no? Okay. So the final step. Therefore, this will be a square. What is a b plus a b? It is 2 a b plus b square. So can I say a plus the whole square is a square plus 2a plus b square. So hence it is proved. I hope so you understood the concept. If you understood the concept, please like, share, comment. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Till then, goodbye. See you in next video.